我当时一一年来的时候，整个整个预制厂就是全部都是荒山野岭，没有任何的一个建筑。这边也是无人岛，然后我们花了十四个月的时间就把它建成了。Seven kilometers of the world's longest bridge project is under the water. Chen Song's factory is responsible for making the tunnel's tubes. Chen says it's the world's biggest tube factory, producing the world's biggest underwater tubes. This underwater tube is four floors tall and two football fields long. It weighs over 80,000 tons, the same as aircraft carrier. But Chen tells me before the construction of Hong Kong to Hai Macau Bridge, Building such a mega tube had been impossible for China. At first, we went overseas to see how other companies make big tubes, but they wouldn't let us in. So we have to climb a mountain to see their manufacturing scenes from miles away. From welding and structural design to transportation, Chen's team had to work everything out on their own. Now this factory can produce two of these giant tubes in two months. We tried consulting an overseas company, but they asked for 100 million euros and couldn't guarantee to solve our problems. So we gave up, but now many foreign companies have come to consult us. Before this bridge project, Chen worked on the construction of the high-speed railway between Beijing and Shanghai, the longest in China. That meant making sacrifices. I only went home once a month. My wife and child complained a lot, and I feel very sorry for them. But if you choose to be a good engineer, you have to keep in mind why you came here in the first place. Now they're making the last tube of the bridge. Soon, the factory's job will be over. But for Chen, there are more mega projects to come. Ge Yunfei, CCTV.